Owners of the Brinkerhoff Mansion hosting a fundraiser to help since the devastating fire on M Street destroyed several businesses in downtown Springfield. It's been a couple weeks since the fire ravished the buildings and ever since the community rallied to help those impacted. You put your heart and soul and a lot of times your personal savings into starting your business. So to watch it crumble and be burned up is devastating. The owners of downtown Adam Street businesses are still picking up the pieces after a devastating fire, leaving many of them with nothing but rubble. As artists, we only make money whenever we make art, so it's just very difficult. However, the community is giving them a chance to get back on their feet. We understand what it's like to have a small business. Uh, this is a great way for us to be able to say, hey, we, we support these businesses that have been massively impacted. Owners of the Brinkerhoff Mansion hosted a fundraiser to raise money for the fund that is set up to help the businesses recover, while those impacted and surrounding businesses set up tents to sell their own products and merchandise. The vendors that were close to them that, you know, had some time that they had to be shut down and will have to in the future, they get to keep that money. The fire impacted each business in a different way. Some lost everything. We haven't been able to enter the building at all to see if there's any, even anything we can salvage. While some haven't even had the chance to get started. Haven't opened yet, but due to the fire that happened downtown, that timeline has been pushed back at least 30 days. And some are still recovering after being shut down for over a week. We endured a lot of smoke damage coming into us. Uh, we also had our electricity cut as they were trying to figure everything out. Regardless of the circumstance, they all agreed on one thing, the meaningfulness of the community coming together in a time of need. Even in a tragic incident, it just really is a light at the end of the tunnel. It kind of helps to bolster you from falling into to complete just utter darkness. No, N says they are looking at a couple of properties to try to relocate the cat's pajamas and hope to open in the next couple of months. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.